Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about how to interpret piecewise velocity graphs. In the previous video, we learned about how to interpret piecewise uh, position graphs in terms of velocity, and now we're going to use velocity graphs to find acceleration and change in position. So if I were to draw a graph that looked like this, with a straight line first, and then going down across the axis and maybe back up again to zero, uh, let's find the acceleration and uh, the change in position based upon this graph. Now here we have a flat line. So in this area here, we have a flat line, which means the velocity is not changing. This means that acceleration equals zero. Uh, here, between this marker and this marker, our velocity is positive. So v equals positive, and over here v is also positive. Uh, but here, acceleration is negative because velocity is decreasing. So acceleration is negative. Now, if we look between this marker and this marker, acceleration is still negative. In fact, it's uh, the exact same as it was before because the slope is the same. However, velocity is now negative as well. Uh, between this marker and this marker, we see that velocity is increasing back up to zero. Uh, and now acceleration is positive because the slope is positive, And velocity is still negative, but now it's at zero over here. If we were to look at this on a two-dimensional line to see uh, where the ball was traveling, if this were a ball, if it were to start here, um, it would be moving in the positive direction at a constant velocity. So it would be going this way, and then it would slow down. It would slow down in the second slot, and then it would slowly, it would go to zero, and then it would turn around slowly, and then it would get faster in this direction. And then eventually it would slow down to zero again and go this way. I'm sorry, it wouldn't slow down to zero again, but uh, uh, it wouldn't turn around, but it would slow down to zero at around here. Now, if we wanted to look at the change in position, remember that we take the area under the graph. And we don't have the exact numbers on this graph, but we can see that this trapezoid right here has a greater area than this uh, triangle. And if you were given the numbers on the graph, you could actually calculate the areas. We basically see that it moves further uh, to the right or in the positive direction than it does in the negative direction. Therefore, if the ball starts here, it might end up over here, as this little uh, diagram has shown.